Welcome to There Must Be More, a Bethel Ottawa podcast. Remember to like and subscribe on YouTube at Bethel Ottawa and follow us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify Podcasts. Welcome to There Must Be More. This is the podcast where we wrestle with the human experience through the truth of Scripture. It is so good to have you with us today. Thank you for watching. We really, really appreciate it. And before and we listening. before we do anything, we'll just ask you to do a couple things. One, it'd be really cool if you engaged in the in the discussion. So we talk about things, but like we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, or, drop a comment. Yeah. A thought. Yeah. Something. Right? Yep. The other things would be, that would be kind of cool. You could subscribe yes. if you haven't done that to the sure Bethel can. YouTube account. Yep. You can subscribe to us on Spotify we or on sure Apple can. Music. And give us like, I think you can four or five stars. I don't know. How many yep. stars are there? I think five. If you give us all the stars, I would I would appreciate that very you much. You really would. I would. Yep. Or thumbs ups. Or thumbs ups. Don't give us thumbs downs. Give us thumbs ups. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's going to help our cause. No. but um, And you can also hit the notification bell on Spotify. So every and time YouTube has a dingy bell too. Yeah, so every time there's a new episode, you'll get notified and boom, you can listen to us. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> yeah, for, thank for you. Getting for all that. the things out. It helps us push the content out to people who need to hear it and want to hear it. So and thank you very much. So please my, do that. I actually have a thought on that. Sure. Like, Share with the group. Yeah. So my thought on that is that we have social media and social media can be good or bad. Mm -hmm. The really hard parts about it is, is that right now I feel like the ditches are where it's the loudest. Yeah. So it's really cruel in places and you get a lot of false information in places. Yep. Negativity, and so like, yeah. a lot of negativity. But like, we're talking about the Bible. We're talking about Jesus yeah. and Jesus loves you. And so and this like- is all good news. So yeah. we need to spread the good news. Yeah, so we, Literally. Need, we need to be That's in these places. We, we yeah. need to go to these places and have a voice. Um, part of how you can help us and, and, and what the church is doing is to do these things. Give us a like, mm -hmm. give us a comment, engage in the process and be a part of uh, getting that conversation, this conversation yeah. out into that sort of world. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's my pitch. I think it was a pretty good one. Good job. I mean, ten out of ten. Just, just thought I of think. it right. Just thought of it right now. It was good. It's a good pitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, so <laughs> we do like to start every episode with a little quick witty banter. <laughs> just a little bit. Right. Yep. So my <laughs> Don't first. Make me laugh. Uh, first, oh right. So in in the news, Sarah had to. I was so sick. She was out for a week. I'm literally in bed, so sick. My throat, like I just had a horrible cold, horrible cough. My throat was on fire. It was like I was swallowing glass. Yep. Ah, I, yeah, it was yeah. like so horrible. Anyways, um, so I'm mostly recovered now, but I have <laughs> a horrible cough. It yeah. sounds like I've been smoking yeah, for the past always, 30 yeah. years of yeah, my yeah, life. So, uh, what she's been so if I... Drinking the whiskey and you know, smoking the cigarette. You hear a cough in the background, it's me. Yeah. I'm fine. Yes. So we're just going to we're gonna push through. I'm alive. I'm yes. here to tell the tale. And if she laughs at all, she is coughing it's a 100. <laughs> right? Do not make me laugh. But yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So yeah. no, it but is just... I got just, my tea, so hopefully I'll be okay. It's not all those bad habits that we were making fun <laughs> no. of. It is you had strep throat I, and... Yeah. Yeah, I know. So I'm sorry. But the other thing I want to talk about today yes. is your hair. My hair? Yes. Oh, yes. You don't ever hair. come on like this. I don't ever There's, come I, on like this. This so, is how you knew I was sick. I have my natural hair so out. So I love what Pastor Sandra <laughs> asked you today. Yeah, she's like, "Did you do this, or the, is this a perm? Isn't that how she's done?" Yeah, it's not a perm. This is my natural hair. What I mean, happened was I took a shower and I washed it. That's a good thing. And this is what happened. Win for everybody. <laughs> so it's really curly. It is very curly. That's insane. Yep. I know. Isn't I crazy? wouldn't know if my hair was curly. I wonder. It was at one time. A little wavy, perhaps. Yeah, well, anyway, so if you're watching on video wispy. and you're like, who's this girl? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and there it don't is. Oh. Yeah, anyways, don't be alarmed. One of the kids, I was signing in one of the kids at church today, and she goes, Pastor Sarah, why does your hair look like that? And I said, well, I took a shower, yeah. and when I washed my hair, it turned curly like this. And she went, hmm, I think you should straighten it. <laughs> Oh, I, <laughs> I won't like say it. who it is, but you know who the kid I is. I like it. Thank you. I, I do. I like it too. It's yes. just, I, I always straighten it, but yeah, it's fine. You know, okay. I'm going to try and embrace the curl. So yes. could be back 
Could not be. Who knows? We'll see. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Yeah. One more kids make, make kid makes a comment and it's <laughs> yeah, going straight like, again. The mom was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's really fine. Yeah. Like, uh, I could take it. <laughs> it's all right. She's Kids cute. are honest at I'll least. Like, no filter. Yeah. But if, I love if, that about them. If you want an honest review, you ask yeah. a kid. Yeah, they'll never, they'll never, they'll make you feel so good or they'll humble you so quick. But hey. So this year. I love them. We're talking about serious things. We are. Yeah. We're in our Fort Part series. Yeah. This is week number two yep. of our series on increase because yes. as we mentioned in the last episode, which if you haven't listened to it, go back and listen to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Peter brought a word for the year for our church, Bethel, and it is the year of increase. Increase. So we're kicking off the new year with the new series on increase. So, yeah. So it's episode two. Well, last week we talked about kind of our hopes and dreams for increase at the church. Um, I remember saying, I, I want an increase in intimacy with God. Yep. And you said, you want to increase in your bank account? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> no. no what did to like empower and equip people to yes. live a life, the life of Jesus and not just Oof. read about him, but be like him. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that's a really good one. Come it's on, a really man. good one. I did steal it from John Mark Homer. Well, that is his, fine. like the basis of... His yeah. ministry, yeah. but uh, I'm behind him on that. So yeah, we're in agreement. Oh, JMC. I think when it comes to um, ideas that come from the Bible and from God, we can share them. Um, yes. Anyways, yes, <laughs> yeah. So today, yes, what is part two all about, Rob? We are talking about an increase in blessing. Ooh, I like the word blessing. You do, huh? Yeah. What do you like, I like about blessing it? people? I don't know. It's a good way to end an email. I just say blessings. <laughs> blessings? Do you? I do. That's so funny. I always feel like a 50-year-old human if I do that. Well, so I am four years away. I don't really end it with 50. blessings. Mm -hmm. I do end it with a lot of exclamation marks and smiley faces. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so professional. Well, I really do. It's, yeah, I believe it's kind you. of like a, ha a job hazard. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I probably shouldn't, but... I think I don't have time to do I that. I want people to know I'm happy to, to chat, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm happy. Anyways. That's great. So anyways, now Blessing. that I feel four years older than I should. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So look, we have a scripture that we are bringing in here because sure. it's one that we, in, in a way, want to unpack. Yeah. Um, because it is... Not a cut and dry discussion when we talk about mm -hmm. an increase in blessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not black and white no. at all. It's very nuanced. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a lot of things that can be said. So when we talk about increase of blessing, this could either bring up like, yes, like mm -hmm. my blessing is coming in 2024. Or if you're like me, mm -hmm. it could bring up like icky feelings. Like? Like. Oh, like what you are just we... made the sound of like <laughs> <laughs> what it means. Like what <laughs> that's the sound you make when you feel like he yes. Yeah, like oh what are we talking about? What do you mean blessing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. it it makes yeah. me feel a certain type of way. That's not always great if I'm gonna be like no, quite sure. quite honest. Mm -hmm. Um and both of those know, aspects, both of those sides, like for the person who's going, Yes, let's talk about blessing. I think there's a uh a good side and a dangerous side, maybe yeah. to that, yeah. right? Like, yes. depending we're not on. Saying, we're not saying blessing is bad. No. And we're not saying God, we're not even saying God doesn't bless. Well, no, but, of course well, he blesses. Yeah. I mean, scripture tells <laughs> yeah. us that he will bless yeah. us, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, why don't we just like get into the scripture, Let's which you it. are going to read, okay. so that you can get your voice even more <laughs> warmed up. Okay, I'm going to try and not cough through this. Try okay. It. So the scripture we're going to talk about today is from Mark uh, 11 and it's 22 to 24. So if you have your Bibles, open that up or just listen to the sound of my sick voice. Soothing voice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it says, have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen it will be done for them. Right. Mm -hmm. So like the first question I have from that scripture mm -hmm. is, do you believe it? Do I believe what Jesus is saying in this scripture? Do you believe what Jesus is saying, that you can tell a mountain, go throw yourself in a sea? Okay. Do you want me to answer? No, I, yes, I want <laughs> you to answer. Are you just uh, buying time? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, uh, yes, I do believe in this scripture. A, because... Jesus said it. Mm -hmm. So like he is the truth. So I need to believe what he, he's saying. Um, and 
I think I've been like taught growing up to also be- like believe in this scripture. Yeah. Right. Oh, for sure. And as a person for me, like in being involved in altar ministry, mm. this kind of a thing comes up like. And so altar ministry, if you don't know what that is, yes. is um, our ministry for prayer. Mm-hmm. You have a team of people who, who pray for one another and intercede for them, just in case they didn't know what that meant. Right. Yeah. No. Context. So, I mean, it does come up a lot, um, but it doesn't mean that... It's, it's easy. It's an easy one or to believe. simple. Right. So mm-hmm. let me ask you this question. Mm-hmm. You believe it. Mm-hmm. How have you seen it applied to your life? Okay. Mm-hmm. This is like... Good, a, good question. So I know, and it's a... Because a, a, like when we... We actually <laughs> pre-talked about asking this question. Yeah. And I think I'm the one who brought it up. You did. So and I then like, I still, to this point, am like stunned. racing in my brain to think I know, me too. how to answer it. How, I want to just like look at the camera like this and go like this. And then she'll do like a zoom in thing with some yeah. sound effects. Yeah. Because that's when you ask me that question, I'm like. Oh, it's shocking. Because how has this applied to and your And I was like, well, do I? Do I apply this? And right. like. Do, okay. So here, I'm going to be very honest oh, with you. Yeah. Okay. So I. Have I seen it applied to my life and have I applied to my life? Yes. Has it been a hundred percent all the time? No. And not that I doubt God because I don't think I doubt him in like his abilities. Mm -hmm. I think in my own like humanness, sometimes I like, I can, I can, I guess kind of, and down with him. <laughs> but it's like, yes him. and no. But like... So why did you feel embarrassed to say that you doubt him? Because I don't want... I don't know, because... Because it says... Because it says don't. And does not doubt in <laughs> their heart. Doubt? Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I I don't know. I think maybe I rely too much on my own understanding mm-hmm. and not his. Mm-hmm. But I don't doubt it. Like, I have seen God, like, do miracles in front of my very eyes. Mm-hmm. And I've seen like healings happen. I've also seen healings not happen. Mm -hmm. But when the healings don't happen, I don't doubt God. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so, and I'm I'm worse of a Christian than you because when I don't see the healings happen, I start to doubt. Like I become Mm. a Thomas. We're just like, oh, Tommy. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm kind of like Lord. Thomas. Your word says this. Yeah. And like, can I see it, please? Right. And so also, just like a quick side note. Yeah. Poor Thomas. First of all, Thomas was with Jesus the whole time. Yeah, Justice Thomas, for Thomas. Thomas was good. He was the only one not in the room when like Jesus came back or there was news that Jesus came back. So yes. of course he comes in. Everybody's losing their mind saying Jesus is alive. Yeah. And he's like, guys, we buried, like we saw him buried. Like yeah. there ain't no way. And yeah. then everyone's just like, well, you're a doubter. What's like, well, and here's the other Poor fact, Tom, like justice for Thomas. Fact, the other fact for him is that he doesn't have the Bible telling him that yes. this is what he should I'm expect. Like, you know what? Everybody's so mean to he's him. Actually Doubting the disciples. <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's not doubting, doubting these other Jesus. guys. Yeah, these, yeah, these other guys who were like, saying, hey, we yeah. saw you. And like, would I really want to listen to Peter all the time? No, I wouldn't. No. Because he's sassy. Right. Anyways, no, that was yeah, my sign. Yeah. Like, well, I kind of like Peter. He's fun. Number one, justice for Thomas. Yeah. Number two, continue with what you were saying. Um, <laughs> really took you off the side. Yeah, no. I, I, for you, me. You feel like doubting. Okay, you so you feel yours? like doubting Thomas, which we shouldn't call him that anymore. No, feel like that's Thomas. True. We, we'll have a whole thing that we'll do maybe on Instagram where we try and get Justice his... Justice for get, the disciples. Yeah, get Some his name, name back in. But back to what we're talking yes. about. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> and No. Um, so for you, I just have to get this clear. For yeah. you, you've just... So you've sort of wrapped this into... As a whole, Yeah. in many aspects, yeah. you've seen this at work. Is that correct to say? Like nothing... You don't have one thing to sort of pinpoint there was a mountain I just believed and it was moved. Um, I think, uh, my brother is like a good example of this where like he kind of like walked away from the Lord for um, a while and he was like involved in some just like not great activity and like his friends were in jail and he was just like involved in some things Mm -hmm. and I remember like praying for him to just like find his way back to Jesus and just like encounter Jesus for himself. Yeah. Because like as much as I could like tell him about Jesus or whatever, 
like unless he encounters exactly. God for himself, 100%. like it's right. So yeah. I remember just like praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying for like a miracle mm-hmm. to like capture him. And then I was like at a youth, a youth convention or something. And, um, they did an altar call for people for salvation for loved ones. So I went up with like my brother in my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, and this pastor came up to me. I've never met him before. He was like some American pastor that, you know, of course the youth conventions bring on these American. Anyways, it's fine. And they brought him in and he was, he was very nice, very kind. And he walked up to me and he put his hand on my shoulder and I was like, who is this man touching my shoulder? But whatever. Wow. So I like looked <laughs> and he was like, there's going to be a miracle that like blows through your household. Yay. And I was like, okay, thank you. And then I was just like, okay, like, God, is that so, like, it's going to be my brother. It's going to be this, it's going to be whatever, whatever. And then literally like a week later, my brother kind of just like went back to the Lord. Yay. So that was That's like beautiful, beautiful, yeah. right? And so that was kind of like the mountain that, you know, yeah, you talk about in, in sure. this verse. That was an example of one of them for sure. That's amazing. Yeah. I really love that. Okay, and I'm really appreciative that you went back to get the specific thing because while you did that, the Lord reminded me of one for me. Okay, good. And it was um, while at Bethel and dealing with anxiety, which mm. I never experienced in my entire life, and I would get panic attacks and um, sort of this low-level fear for years mm. where it didn't take much for my heart to just start pounding. I remember times when... I would be ready to go up to like do the, that middle part, yeah, which is easy. The middle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like welcome everybody. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And I'm not afraid of people no. and speaking in front yeah. of people, Yeah. but I would almost go into a panic like attack heart palpitations. right before. So I would leave huh. right when it's on the last song, I would have to leave the room Wow. And then like come back in right when I knew I had wow. to go up and I'd be up there. My heart would just be like Pounding. crazy. Um, and I, I remember the season where I would just be like, like I need to get this figured out because like mm. this is new, scary, and mm. it's Debilita- it felt it's debilitating. debilitating. Yeah. So, but I would all the information that came to me made it worse, mm. right? Like all the strategies, the breathing strategies, the it was the, overwhel- more overwhelming. Yeah, it totally made it worse. Mm. And I and I'd pray and I'd pray and I'd pray and I'd pray and and then God jumped in and said. Like, let me take care of this. Stop the strategies. Wow. And it was a moment where I had to believe. And then it was like very soon after he said to me, instead of creating these strategies, I want you to experience every second of it and just, just be there in it. That's difficult. It was weird. And, but I just felt like it was really from God. And so I did believe about it. And so I did it. Yeah. And so, and I remember like, he actually would then come in and step in in those moments and go, see, you're, you're going to be mm-hmm. fine. And eventually it just died out and, and he got rid of it. Wow. His way. Yeah. Not, not my way. Mm-hmm. Right. And so, I yeah, that's key. I mean, that's yeah. a place where it applied to my life for sure. Wow. That's great. Yeah. That's beautiful. Okay. So, but I mean, that's one thing for me that took, that's one thing for me that took a very long time for me to think of. Yeah. It's kind of weird. And, <laughs> but like, there's some difficulty in this scripture that, oh, that yeah. we have to wrestle with. Yep. Um, and I want to talk about that. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Because we're talking about increase. We're talking about blessing. We're talking about this scripture that's powerful yep. in its statements yep. and, and bold important. and big. Yes. Like big, Very bold statements, bold. not just from like Peter. or No, from Jesus himself. It's just Jesus. Jesus' answer. So Jesus is talking in this text. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what is hard here? What, what, what are the difficulties that well, we see here? Well, uh, there's a few we could pull out, yeah. um, but I think that faith aspect um, where it says, like, you believe in your heart. Mm. So that's talking about faith. You have yep. to have faith. If you believe something in your heart, yep. you have to have faith in, of that thing that's in your heart. Yeah. Right? And so um, when different circumstances, all these things happened, like when God spoke to you and said, mm-hmm. like, let go of everything else and just, like, be with me in it, yep. you had to have a lot of faith that God was going to sit with you in that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because if not, terrifying. I mean, terrifying anyways. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like you had to have really deep faith to be like, okay, I could do this because God's going to be right here with me doing it. Yeah, and I think it was even like the re- the level of reliance I just found myself in. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I'm going to listen to whatever yeah, you like say. Yeah, like you're fully leaning on him. Yeah, because yeah. this is a mountain. Yeah. 
And that's yeah. hard to do, especially when your mountain is like a mountain that's been in front of you for years and years or decades or feels yeah. so when you haven't seen ginormous. So like yeah. th- for the moms who are praying for their child into the 20th year and you see addiction still there mm. and there is no like actual evidence mm-hmm. of a even a possibility of a turnaround mm-hmm. Like to believe and keep praying mm-hmm. and keep shooting arrows into the ground, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah, it's hard. hard. Yeah. And then we have the aspect of faith that's sort of like, is it just thinking a thought? Right. Right. Yes. And I think we confuse. Yeah. Like if you just have faith, okay. So if you just believe, right? And so that mm-hmm. word that we love, pastiwo. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. more like pastiwo. Pastillo, think, pastillo, right, pastillo, 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 it's yeah, whatever we can't, that's the Greek word of for belief. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, which indicates more than just thinking a thought. Yeah. Like utter conviction, right? This yeah, is the yeah. belief that is used in the new Testament. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's what you see. The disciples who are li- being stoned to death, who are yeah. crucified oh. upside down, who are oh. martyred and, and murdered because they're standing on that belief like that. The, there the is deepest, no doubt. Yeah, there is no doubt. People don't die for things they don't believe. Yeah. Right? Wow, yeah. Like, if you were to tell me, stop being an Oilers fan or I'm going to stone you to death, <laughs> I'd be like, fine. Yeah, fine. I'm Who cares? believing them that Who much. Cares? They're not winning the cup anyways. Uh, well, hey, hey now. <laughs> Sorry, I said, I said what I said. I said what I said. <laughs> but, but these guys, this is with their life, and they believed it. Yeah. And not only then was their belief... Unto death, yeah. Yeah, but was and their belief is not just an act of the mind. It's the mm-hmm. mind and the heart, mm-hmm. which, Connected. I mean, Scripture tells us, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength. Yeah. So, like, to the point then that you can see that their faith is interacting in all four of those areas, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, wow. Like, yeah, they think it, they believe it, they, yeah. they know it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they're convicted of it in their hearts. Yep. This and they is, live it. And they, they live, live it and unto it death. Unto death. Right? That's And so crazy. it's their spiritual breath, though, because it's their identity. Hmm. It's their identity that they're eternal beings who will be with Jesus. Wow. So it's just so much deeper than a thought. So much deeper than a thought. And so do you think the scripture then is asking us to live like the disciples in the New Testament then? With that deep, deep conviction? I, I, I mean, I think that the assumption is there that mm-hmm. you do, mm-hmm. right? So the m- most directive scripture to me is love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength. Mm-hmm. Um, and the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Mm-hmm. And so I just kind of think that that, that exists here. Mm. Right. And like, gee, there's also scripture that says, believe in the one that he has sent. Yep. Right. Yeah. Um, that is our, that and is John, our work. Yep. That is our work. Um, but it all revolves around that holistic love of God, mm. every aspect of us. So I just believe that exists here. Yeah. I actually think that Jesus shows us entirely through his whole journey mm-hmm. that that is the only way to live. Mm. Like you can only Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Right. So you, your faith can only um, mm-hmm. be interactive with your heart, soul, mind, strength. Right. You know? Yep. It's not one and none of the others. Because your faith is an act of love. Like yeah. It's an act of trust. It's an act of obedience. Yep. It's all of that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, good. I like it. I was just curious. Yeah. So that's hard, the belief part. But then there's the mountain part. Yeah. So... The hard part for me with the mountain. Yeah, tell us, tell us. Is no, I don't believe I can just go and tell a mountain to jump into the water. Right. And so there's the aspect of it's Jesus being figurative. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah. Because I mean, historically, gigantic language was language, like yes. hyperbole was Hyper- used yeah. a lot. Yeah. Lots of metaphors. Um, but he's also of- God. And he yeah. also rose from the dead. Yeah. And he also <laughs> raised Lazarus from the dead yep. and cast out demons and turned water into wine and yep. fed 5,000 with like nothing. Yeah. So part of the sea. So yep. do you have any doubt that Jesus could throw a mountain into the water? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Hasn't he told us that we can do more <laughs> even, right? Like, uh, yes. But this is when my like mind gets I in know, the way. I We're talking know. about having the faith deep in the heart. Like, and talking about the disciples, I think the disciples 
a hundred percent was like, oh yeah. I mean, Peter, Peter for sure was like, I can move that mountain. No problem. Yeah, right? No problem. Yeah. But then I think like I've like lived in the Philippines and they have these huge mountains and yeah. I went to Scotland and they have these beautiful mountains. I would look at them and be like, I can't move that. You know, what if, what if, sorry, mm-hmm. and this is going to make me sound, make it sound like I'm saying you're, response is wrong no 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 but like what if that's our problem that we're consistently yeah. going i can't do that well i think it is our problem yeah, yeah you can <laughs> i'm not offended at all okay yeah hey, you can't do it i can't do i it. can't no no it's the spirit inside of us but i still struggle <laughs> yeah i still struggle. i still struggle too because it seems so monumental and i think it it almost it seems is. mythical it's so big yeah yeah right like it just that my 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 spiritual heart and brain have a hard time yeah. understanding much beyond you know praying some prayers hoping yeah. for some healing like yeah. and like what if we're just believing just way too small way too small i think that we are believing way too small interesting but okay <laughs> can we put a pin in that part yeah. and like i don't know if we come back to it i hope we can remember to come back okay. to it but yeah. like Maybe it's a good time to get into the next part. Yeah. Because, okay, we'll say yes, maybe we're believing a bit too, too small. small. Yeah. But is there areas then where maybe we use this to believe too big? In mm. other words, okay. is there something dangerous about this scripture? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, absolutely. Um, and we do this in a... In a couple of ways. Mm-hmm. And so I actually have an example Ooh, that to this go. day still like gets me fired up with anger. Oh, ooh, <laughs> righteous like, anger. Which is not, not good. Righteous like, anger. Rage. Oh, no, oh. not that much rage. But like I get mad when I, anyways. Like the little, so, the little red dude. Yes. Yes. My anger. I love my that My brain guy. is exploding. Okay, go. So this becomes dangerous. Um, the scripture when we use it and we like, we weaponize it. Mm. So like we're talking about faith, right? It says, truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw it into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes, uh, what they would say, it will be done for them. So this is, this can be taken as a lack of faith, right? We use, we weaponize it. And so for Mm. example, I'll give you one. And this was a real example. Okay. And, um, Years ago, I was working with um, kids still, obviously, I'm still doing it. And <laughs> um, there was this little blind boy. And he was in uh, kindergarten at the time. And so I had him in, in kindergarten. And this was at church. And not my church, I was somewhere else. But I was helping with the kindergarten class. Mm-hmm. And um, the mom dropped him off to me like he usually does. And everything's fine. Maybe about. 20 minutes later, the mom comes upstairs and she's crying and she takes her son. And so I stepped out and I said, are you, did something happen? Are you okay? This, it was during, she was in small group just then. Mm -hmm. So I said, was there an emergency? Is there like, I could like leave him here with me. Like if you need to go deal with something, it's totally fine. And she said, no, actually, uh, I was at small group. This is, oh, I'm making so mad. I was at small group and one of the ladies in my small group told me that my son is blind because I didn't ha- I don't have enough faith. And so my prayers aren't working because I, I don't have enough faith. And I said, let me walk you out <laughs> because I was just like, that's f- anyways. So I had to do some damage control. So it's mm-hmm. so damaging. Mm-hmm. Not only are you weaponizing scripture, mm-hmm. that's, not how God intended the scripture. That's not how Jesus was into. I think I can't speak for Jesus. Obviously yeah. I don't think that's how Jesus was intending that scripture to be uh, used. No. And so it's weaponized and it's damaging to people and people's yeah. faith and things like yeah. that. So I, that's one way that we can misuse that scripture. I know that my wife is like just buzzing right now. <laughs> because I would love to be like, she, Shannon, tell us what you no, think. No, she yeah. has a story to tell about that. And so I'm going to do my best to tell it really broadly. Shannon, why don't you just come and step where the mic is? Do you want to tell the story? No. Okay. Well, this is all taking too long. Do you want to okay. tell the story? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And I have to just tell it really generally. So I'm not going to get the nuance and the 
Basically yeah. what happened was she was at a youth camp and at the camp, the pastor had a time for healing. And one of the kids, their situation was he was blind. Oh, there you go. Oh. And, um, and then he put it on the, on the kids, on the youth and said, you guys need to believe and pray for this kid and he will be, be healed. Mm-hmm. Um, but it went beyond that. He told you guys to all go home. And spend how much time in prayer? And it was like intensely, yeah, come, yeah, come, come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to hear it. We need to hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi, hi, okay? everybody. I can't. That? Okay. Um, okay, so basically he had all of those. So it was a youth camp, right? And so there's 100 and, you know, 30 kids, various faith yep, backgrounds. experiences. Yep. Some are probably Christians. Some probably are not Christians. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, this this blind kid had been there the whole week, so everybody knew who he was. Yep. And um, he's like, we're going to pray for healing, and he's going to be healed today in Jesus' name. And we're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh like gosh. the end of camp. We're so oh excited. Gosh. Yeah. Okay, we pray and pray and pray, nothing happens. And so then after that, basically he's like, you guys need to have more faith, and you mm. need to leave, and you're going to be praying for the next 100 days or something like that. Like this oh was gosh. 20 some years yeah. ago. So I don't remember exactly, but yeah. he's basically like, a time you guys line. are going to be praying for the next hundred days. And if he doesn't get healed, that's on you. <gasps> so he basically just told, you know, a hundred plus teenagers yeah. that if this kid didn't get healed, doesn't it's, their get fault. healed it's our fault because our faith is not strong oh, enough. My and goodness. I've been mad about it ever since. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's, that's a way of weaponizing. That's what I mean when I say weaponizing the scripture. Like we're taking that scripture and using it as a means of you don't have enough faith. So I think that there's two core sort of heart postures yeah. that are that are at play there. Yeah. Um, and one of them is fear and the other one is pride. Mm. And and they kind of interplay. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, pride and fear kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. But like in yeah. your story, there was possibly a fear of not knowing how to handle a situation. So mm-hmm. often this is where we give platitudes. Yeah. Right. And we know that scripture says something like this. So we're, I'm just going to tell you that if you just had stronger faith, because I don't know how to sit with you in your discomfort or your hurt or whatever, like that could come, somebody comes up and prays for, for healing, but they're not getting it. And it's something dire. You don't want to sit in that with them and go, I don't know why you're not being healed. Instead, you come up with guns blazing Mm -hmm. and accuse and, and, and bring in shame and guilt. And cause Mm -hmm. that, that for some reason makes it easier for you to handle. Right. So that's like a a fear aspect. And then we have this pride aspect, which I believe would be at play with this person at camp who's like, I'm going to put myself out there. Cool. Um, and we're going to believe for Jesus and Jesus name. He's going to do this. Mm-hmm. And then Jesus says, mm, no, um, that there's a bit of pride that comes in there. Like I just set myself up to fall. And instead I'm going to use this scripture as a weapon to protect myself. Yeah. And you guys, this is all on you. This yeah. is your fault. Yeah. Right. So like Sheesh. we have to damaging. Yeah. We got it. Like, and I can understand the discomfort. Like you don't know what to say. So you say like, Oh, you like, you just got to keep believing. You just, there's a difference between being like, I'm believing with you mm-hmm. and you don't have enough belief. So that's why your son's still blind. Yeah. And like, I'm sorry. We need to do better. If Agreed. you're uncomfortable, I'm sorry. Yeah. We still need to do better. It's not an excuse to weaponize scripture for anyone at any place at any time. No. We love you. Stop doing that. Please. And if you don't know how to sit with people in their pain, like sometimes don't say anything, just hold their hand or give them a hug. Yeah. Like we don't need, weaponizing is not the, the answer. No. Yeah. And so then I, I go to like, I know that there's people who think God heals 100% of the time and I've wrestled with that. Mm-hmm. But from this mortal coil... Yeah. Like from these mortal bodies, yeah. that ends at some point. Yeah. At some point you aren't healed in this way. Like everybody yeah. dies and goes on to the next yeah. and we have a better healing. Yes. Right? Yes. But like this notion that everybody could be cured from cancer if it cancer if it was our faith. Mm-hmm. Like first of all, did you check in with God on that? And yeah. what his plans and his purposes are, yeah. because whether we like it or not, and here's another scripture that can be weaponized. Yeah. Some things that are difficult that we go through are used for good. Yes. And while we don't want to hear that in a moment, and we probably shouldn't say it to people in very difficult moments, yes, yes. Use when we wisdom. realize <laughs> it and when we experience, like my anxiety has been a blessing because I can sit with people on a whole other level, hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now I get it. Anxiety mm-hmm. is not cancer. Mm-hmm. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're but not then there's quite. something to be said for us standing in front of another human being, willing to cry with them yeah. because they're about to face 
something so difficult. Yeah. And I can't promise you that he is going to cure this. I promise you that there is something greater. Yeah. Um, but and I will be with you. And yep. I will believe with you till the end. Yes. That healing. Yep. I will come. believe with you. Till I'll, the I'll end. be okay yeah. to believe with you yeah. until the end. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if all doesn't work out, I'll meet you not soon after. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and there, and you're going to be perfectly healed there. Yeah. Yeah. Like we have to remember that we're eternal beings, not mortal beings. Yeah. And this is a blip. Yeah. This is truly a blip. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say that's how we, Ooh. we can, we can weaponize it. What do you think? What's, uh, so can the, make this dangerous yeah, this scripture? Yeah. Um, when we use it for selfish purposes. Mm. So honestly, we all <sighs> know sort of the avenues here, name it and claim it. Mm. Uh, very, I don't know. To me, it's treating God a bit like a genie. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, Which he's not. No. And I'll just say that Scripture, Jesus speaks more against wealth and uh, accumulation of wealth than other issues that we are very loud about. Mm -hmm. Um, But we're Mm -hmm. not loud about that one. Yes. Now, um, Mm -hmm. I think that this is meant to say something entirely different um, than uh, if you just believe that he will give you the mansion, that you'll get the mansion, Mm -hmm. or that your business will be Fortune 500, Mm -hmm. or that you will become CEO, or Mm -hmm. like... God can care about whatever God wants to care about. Absolutely. But I'm going to tell you, and I'm pretty certain this is true, (laughs) he cares more about your heart than your station. Yeah. Yep. Then your finances, mm-hmm. then, yeah, if you got the job promotion. And not to say he doesn't care. He, ca- he cares he can about care whatever you. he wants he can, to. Yeah. If he wants to care about who wins on the football game on Sunday, yeah. he can <laughs> care about that. He can. Yeah, That's his prerogative. Yes, he yes. can be a Broncos fan if he wants to. Yeah, hey. Go Denver. Hey. <laughs> yeah, okay, so when we could take this. So what you're saying is we could take this scripture and apply it to us in a self-serving way. I.e. if I like the thing, if anything you believe it's going to happen. And so I like that you said the name it and claim it thing, Mm -hmm. because we see this big time and Mm -hmm. I'm going to even say, we see this being taught from pulpits. Yeah. And this is where I get, we're talking about the dangers. This is the danger of it. Yeah. Um, Because then their pastors or preachers or teachers are then (laughs) teaching this in a way of, you name it, you claim it. Ask God for this, he's going to give it to you right mm-hmm. away. Ask God for this, he's going to give it to you. Mm-hmm. You want the Ferrari? Believe it, name mm-hmm. it, claim it. Yeah. And that's almost like even along the lines of like manifesting. Oh, it's totally along the lines don't of do manifesting. The ma- I'm sorry, I do not do the manifesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, no, I don't do the manifesting either. No way. Like, I mean, it's not, I'm down for some positive thinking. Like, biblical. I want to think positively yeah. about life. Yeah. But I don't think that my thought process mm-hmm. has some kind of spiritual Sway. power. Yeah. To change the universes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or God, like, yeah, and 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 convince that I deserve some kind of yeah glorious benefit. Yes, yep. So this is a huge, huge danger, and um, I we could we could see this a lot um, on social media. We mm-hmm. see a lot of this pushed um, and prosperity gospel. Yeah, we see that, and that's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, yeah. So sorry. Yeah. It's just it's not. I look at the rich young ruler. Go and read that. Yeah. And you know, Je- Jesus is very, very clear. Mm-hmm. Very, very clear. Um, and so we. And then have he also to, like when he says like give to Caesar what is Caesar's. He's talking about that coin. Yeah. So like, give that to him. He yeah. can have this useless thing. Yeah. This money. Yeah, yeah. He, that can be it's his. Nothing. I yeah. got something more. Yes. Right. Yep. Something far greater. Yeah. 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 Yep. So we. That's that's where it gets the dangerous territory that that scripture you know and that's just an example there's others like you've said but what if the only blessing he gives us is eternity with him Mm -hmm. like that's a real thing that we have to come to grips with because Mm -hmm. we don't fully understand eternity yeah and that is something that we have to have strong faith for Mm -hmm. we have to have strong conviction for Mm -hmm. so when i look to the world um to be my cure if when i look to a ferrari to Mm -hmm. find my worth Mm -hmm. when I look to um, the level of CEO to see value in, in me, that is a 
twisted mirror of us being made in his image, yeah. right? We're spiritual beings mm-hmm. who are meant to worship God, mm-hmm. right? And be like Jesus. Yes. Yeah, Jesus didn't give us the example of becoming wealthy. No. Nope. Ooh. Now, I think we need to be careful too that like, because if I look to the roots of some of prosperity gospel, mm-hmm. I can understand it because it came out of places where people had nothing. Yes. So we need to believe yep. that God's just going to take care of this. Yep. Right? Right. And they trusted and they believed. So like there's a difference, like we talked about naming it and claiming it versus like the trust and the deep, deep belief that we talked about in the New Testament with the disciples. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that they were naming, claiming things. I believe that what they were so deeply rooted in trust with Jesus and for Jesus and for God that they just believed things were going to happen because of the power that was inside of them. I don't think they were naming and claiming all these things. Yeah, I don't know the actual function of exactly how they did it in that moment, but it's the heart issue. The heart, It's the heart. Yes. Right? So it's a difference of, if I look to Scripture, what has God promised me? He's promised me eternity. He's promised me he'll take care of me, and he promised me that he won't give me a stone. He promised me that, like, he'll provide. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So for some folks in, in a time where there was nothing to ask for provision yep. and believe yep. and just believe 100% that he was going to provide yes. is like, yes, yes. and amen. Absolutely. Do that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But 100%. I, I myself live in a, in a country where I just mm. have to acknowledge and okay, so I'm a white male yep. and I live in Canada. Yep. Right <laughs> from the start, I have a lot of benefit. Yep. And I won't say I'm born into blessing, I'll say I'm born into privilege. So mm-hmm. that can be viewed by some as a blessing. Mm-hmm. I just think I, I, I'm, I'm not ungrateful for where mm-hmm. I am. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do have to acknowledge that to ask for more for me mm-hmm. in this world mm-hmm. is pretty selfish. Mm-hmm. Like, Wow. If I'm not thinking of, you know, the situation of water in indigenous places, yep. like this is me speaking, yep. then, and instead I'm asking for uh, a, a new Audi. Yeah. Like mm, for me, my priorities are not mm-hmm. lining up with what I think Jesus would ask for. Yeah. Um, and, and even let's get that water stuff aside, yeah. like just salvation, Yeah. Uh, relationship with Jesus for my brothers and sisters, mm-hmm. um, with the, all the struggle in the world. Like a lot of struggle in a lot of places, more division than we've ever seen, more mm-hmm. hatred than we've ever seen. Mm-hmm. The answer, a hundred percent, is true and honest Jesus. Yeah. Not Americanized Jesus. No. Uh, but true. Not and, Christian nationalism. But Christians Biblical. who would go on their Christians. knees, believing that Jesus could move the mountain of hatred yeah. and move the mountain of uh, all of the the things that are in the way of people in relationship with yeah. him. Yeah. So that's my two cents on yeah. <laughs> name it and, and claim it for and, me. And, yeah, and I think too when we as Christians, Jesus following Christians, hmm. um, pray for that, pray for those mountains to be moved like you were just saying, hmm. we see the blessings of Jesus in that. Seek first the kingdom of God and mm-hmm. his righteousness and all these things will be added mm-hmm. to you. I got hopes and dreams. Yep. Right? I wrote a children's book. Yep. I would love it if it sold 100,000 copies. Yes. You know, a few away yeah. from that number. <laughs> but seek Everyone first the kingdom of book. God and let that deal with itself. Like, yeah. if that's what he wants. Yeah. Like, there's a real value in thy will be done. A mm. real spiritual mm-hmm. value for us on this earth. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Okay. So... We're talking all about increase of blessing. Okay? Yeah. So we might have veered off a little bit, but it's fine. So we talked about the scripture. Do we believe the scripture? Then what's we talked about the dangers of this scripture mm-hmm. and how it could be kind of taken out of context of what it actually is when it comes to blessing, right? So Rob, then what is the true increase of blessing that we should ask for? I feel like I just answered a really long one. <laughs> So well, I didn't ask you to. Oh, you yeah, just no. did. I'm just, oh. kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. Um. So we have okay. a we have a scripture. We do. Yeah. Um. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. So um, this scripture is from Jeremiah 17 verses seven to 
eight. I think this is NIV. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, It says, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. It le- its leaves are always green and has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. I love that. And you brought the scripture to the table for this podcast. Mm-hmm. So good on you. And thank you, Lord, for giving her this scripture. Also, thanks, uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You crazy prophet. Oh, those crazy prophets. <laughs> those top three. My goodness. But that's <laughs> another. That's another. Um there's we should just do an episode about the craziness of the Bible, honestly. Oh, I agree. Go on. Oh, I agree. Right? Yeah. Um, the richness that exists in this place. Mm. So this, as it, you were reading it, mm-hmm. at, I, a question came about to me. Okay. Like, where in the Bible mm-hmm. do you see this lived out, like, in its most full? Where in the... In this verse? Yeah, like, where do you see that that verse lived out... I know that's like popping a big one on you. Yeah. So, but Thank like, so think about it, like <laughs> confidence in him, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, that is planted by water so that the roots, you know, it sends out its roots by the stream. So like this growth, um, mm-hmm. the leaves are always green. It's full. It's alive. It's life. Uh, no worries in a year of drought, but is still bearing fruit. So mm-hmm. where, where do you feel like you see a life that is blessed like this? I mean, a few. Mm -hmm. I mean, David comes to mind. Okay. Right? Okay, David comes to mind. Um, Jesus obviously comes to mind. Um, Why do you say it like that? Because I feel like Jesus is always the answer. "Eh, But he's literally the best answer. Yes. Like... Is that what you were hoping I was going to say? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's that's where I go. But yes, da- I want to hear I want to hear the David thing if you want to talk about David cuz like Okay. Agreed. Um so to me, David just lives out radical faith. Mm-hmm. Not always radical obedience. No. <laughs> but right? very human. But very human. Oh. Um but he, like human like us in he made a <laughs> my guy made a lot of mistakes. Yes. A lot of mistakes. Yes. But he was so deeply rooted in faith in Jesus. Like people were after his life. Mm-hmm. Um, his his son died. The first thing he did was he like he went to the altar and, and just wept and like ripped his clothes. And mm-hmm. but God was still like, I'm after your heart. Like you're a man after my own heart. Yes. Why? Because of his heart posture. Yeah. Because he lived this. Yes. The confidence was in him. Yeah. He was planted yeah. like by still waters. Like yeah. look at his Psalms. He worshiped. Look at the Psalms. Like he worshiped. So David stuck out to me when you said that. Obviously yeah, Jesus but, as well. But the other but. thing with David too is that he also was not willing to act before God. Like yes. he waited. He that's how waited. that's how rooted he was in in, in the he Father. He waited. In the yeah. Psalms it says every morning he waits at yeah. the altar. And for God. like he could have tried to take that kingship. Mm-hmm. Well before mm-hmm. he and he could have done it all for himself. Oh yeah, and like there are aspects of him that he like he it's was very for human. sure self centered and was like, "Hey, dude, your wife gotta have her. Yeah. You're dead." Yeah, right. So there was, of course, there was a self centeredness. Yeah, but not when it came to Jesus. He never took God's glory. No, he never took Jesus's presence as for his own. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's what I thought, and you know, you know me. I love my guy, David. No, no, that was, that was a great <laughs> example. And with the, actually, I like that because it goes uh, not against Jesus, but it goes up with. So like, mm-hmm. that's where we see very much David's humanity. And so we can understand, because one time I remember God sending me to the book of Psalms to answer one of my prayers, my cries to him. And mm-hmm. he's like, look at a better man than you prayed the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, but the nice thing about him saying a better man than you, like it wasn't like in a, like you, you su- suck. Yeah, no, yeah, it wasn't no. in that way. It was more like. Um, and look at how messed up he is. Yeah, like, and what he walked through. Yeah, and so you're, you're okay, man. Like, yeah. you're, you're okay. Yeah. Um, you're approved still. Yeah. E- even though you have little faith. Yeah. You're approved, you know, even yep. when you feel like you've let people down. Mm-hmm. Now, um, I, I it, to me, it has to be Jesus because yep. Jesus <sighs> gives us so the sorry. example of heaven. Mm. It's the only real lens I feel like... I. I yeah, even 
I would say Jesus is the is the lens of how heaven views things. Yeah. Right? And we can't see how heaven views things yeah. except through Jesus. Yeah. And when Jesus goes up and has the courage to die on the cross mm-hmm. and to be the greatest leader that ever lived, the mm-hmm. greatest leader that ever lived, that's mm-hmm. the greatest leadership because it showed strength, courage, love. Um, it showed everything yeah. that we should try and emulate. Mm-hmm. Um, that is, it's so beautiful because it we actually can. Yeah. Like, so we think we can't be Jesus and we can't be God, Mm -hmm. but we have Jesus. And so he can help us to live like him. And like, we can get, I don't, I I feel weird saying we can be perfect. We, we won't be. Yeah. But if we're looking like him, we're as close as we can get. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I have been given a blessing of being able to handle whatever I face with that exact same courage as Jesus, with the exact same trust in the Father as Jesus, mm-hmm. right? With the same love in his heart. Yeah. Like nobody took that away from him. Yeah. We lose that so fast. Yes. Yeah. Um, if I could do that, I, I, even David, I don't see that in. Mm-hmm. Like Jesus did it from the heavenly perspective. Yeah. And I, I can too. Yeah. So... If the go back to the question, what is the true increase we should seek? Yeah, for me, mm-hmm. it's look more like Jesus. Mm-hmm. Like that is the blessing mm-hmm. that I believe He really wants to give us. Yeah, like at the cost of the house. Yeah, at the cost of the car. Yeah, at the co- promotion, finances, right. Right. bank accounts. And are we willing to take that trade off? Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So here's your That's options. Good. Yeah. Go to a cross or have a mansion. Right. Mm-hmm. And the, again, Oof. like Oof. if we go back to the rich young ruler, yeah. that's what is said. It said if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, you're not. This is not for you. Then Ooh. the wealth and the position and the power and the money. But have you ever been in an experience in your life where the Holy Spirit took over to the degree that you were shocked by how He made something difficult seem so peaceful? Mm -hmm. and easy, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There is so much joy in that. Like the way he can just come into someone's life in the most difficult and bring his presence and his peace and his love and Mm -hmm. everything that you need, like a real, real spiritual blessing to go through whatever it is we're going to go through in this world. Yeah, Like that is, I believe, the blessing we should be asking for. No matter what I face. Yeah. Let me not, Mm. let me not falter. Let me not trade you in. Let Mm. me not run from you. Mm. That's really good. Um, Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Do you have thoughts on this? We feel um, like, I feel like, okay, I've watched we, some of our podcasts. Yeah. I'm talking like all the time. That's no, this I, is so good. You're so wise. Oh, yeah. I'm, you <laughs> are. <her> <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting, getting, getting. Um, <laughs> Maybe that wasn't so wise for you to say that, but hey, you have your moments, I guess. Um, um, no, no, I, it's good. I You're hear, saying want, a lot of good things. I think, you know, we're in our increase series. And so we're talking about increase of blessing and like, I, we've made it very clear in this episode that like, we're not here to get from God. Right. And we're not here to get material things. Like our blessings are spiritual. Our blessings are eternal. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God, you know, like the new heaven and new earth, Mm -hmm. Jesus coming back. That's our blessing. (coughs) Mm -hmm. So if we want an increase, we want an increase of blessing and you're asking God to increase blessing this year. Okay. Blessing is eternity. Yes. Blessing is being with Jesus and being like Jesus. Now, that might come at a cost. So if you're going to ask Jesus to increase your blessing, which, you know, the right yeah. the right kind of blessing, like mm. we're not talking about material things. Spiritually, if we're talking about um, Jesus increasing blessing, that's going to come at a cost probably for you. Mm-hmm. And so you like look at the disciples 
they ha- theirs was a, a, basically the ultimate cost of yeah. death, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not saying you're going to go out in the street and get stoned. No. I'm not saying you need to be a, a martyr. But I think that we have to like get serious when we're talking about blessing. I think that yes. we have to acknowledge that it's blessing isn't fluffy. No. Blessing is hard. And it's like in the dirt. And it, you feel like low. Like you have to get in the dirt with Jesus, not by yourself, but like with Jesus. And so, um, oftentimes the blessing comes out of a hard place. Yes. And so like, we have to talk about it because blessing always seems like, woohoo, like God's going to give me what I want and I can't take anything I can handle. He's not going to give me more than I can handle. It's just like, uh, Okay. Sure, <laughs> he's gonna be there with you through all of it. Yeah, but like we're talking about increase of blessing. Yes, yeah. we want more of Jesus. We want His presence. We want eternity with Him. That's gonna come at a cost on Earth for you. Oh wow! Because then that means totally. you have to leave all the other things behind. Yeah. So you have to be ready in 2024 to leave all the other things behind. Yeah. Does I that love make that. any sense? Yes, I love that you bring that in, and you talk about honestly the most earthy part and the most atomy part and the most, huh, not like just the most human part of us. And God wants to connect that spark in us. Like, so we are created in his image and we are human, but we are still eternal beings, but he wants Mm to sort of connect our human with the divine. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. A a house ain't going to do that. Right. It just never Ooh, will. Yeah. Your promotion is not going to do that. Acceptance from other human beings yep. is never going to do that. No. Like if I want my soul, so mm. love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength, I want my soul to connect with the divine. I have to be super cautious about the things that I strive for and the things I yeah. seek. Yeah. So if I'm naming and claiming myself a, a new car, mm-hmm. It's actually something that gets in the way yeah. of now, if I need a new car so that I can, you know, yeah. get, get to church yes. and get my kids around. Yes, and that's then different. Yeah. Yes. We yes. ask, yes. we ask, we ask, and we believe we talked about that at the beginning of this episode. We have a deep core belief mm-hmm. that he is more than able but to if, meet our needs. If your wealth in some way is the thing that dictates to the world who you are or gives you your own mm-hmm. value, mm-hmm. uh, or identity. Yep. Or your own glory for yourself. Yeah. That's missing the mark entirely. Yep. And I, like, it scares me to think that you might get it because yeah. I mean, the, the reality is, is our positive thinking and hard work can get us a lot Absolutely. of places, Yep. but they yes. cannot connect us to mm-hmm. the divine. Mm-hmm. They cannot connect us the way that he could just pour out. Like if he decides for revival, that's him. Yeah. It's not because I'm so good at praying. Yep. Right. Yep. And my salvation is him. Yeah. Not me. He, he came to us even when we weren't looking for him. Yeah. Scripture tells us that yep. even when we weren't looking for him, he yep. came to us. Yeah. And so I sit here approved. Mm-hmm. Um, why? Because I believe mm-hmm. cause I'm convinced mm-hmm. that Jesus was a man who was sent here fully God, fully man, Mm -hmm. died on the cross, actually became not dead anymore, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Three days later, actually became not dead anymore and walked around with people. Yeah. And and, and all him. It's every blessing that pours out in my life. And come on now, like the truth is that I'm I'm teaching myself again right now, Mm. okay? Like, let's be honest here. Oh, I mean, maybe you don't have to be honest, but I have to be honest. (laughs) That like we can come across on this podcast is like, well, this is... Oh, yeah. So right oh, now yeah. I'm preaching to myself yes. because I can so easily get wrapped up in all of Same. the stuff that doesn't even matter. Oh, yes. I'm behind you. I'm right there. But it's him. It's all him. And that's the real blessing. Yeah. All him. More of him. All, more of him is the blessing. That's the real blessing to ask for. Yes. That's what we should be praying for and yep. seeking out and... Seek first the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. And you know what's weird, though? We can be okay if he gives us wealth. 
Yeah. Like this is not like don't. This feel, isn't anti wealth. No, this don't, isn't and anti don't feel guilty. If yeah. he blesses you with wealth. Yeah, good like, for you. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ask him what he wants. Cries. What, yeah. <laughs> ask maybe ask him what he wants you to do with that. Yeah. How can um, you bless others with that? But I, I love the notion that you you were seeking him first. Yeah. And then along the way, he's like, you know, I'm going to make this business successful. Mm-hmm. Ah, you know, I'm going to make this successful. Mm-hmm. Like he will. He will. He will he do can. these things. Yeah. But that can't be our motive. Yes. In what we're striving Everything for. Everything comes back to the heart. Mm-hmm. Everything comes back to the heart. Yeah. Um, wow. I, how far are we on this one? Oh, good. Wow, <laughs> wow. We didn't know. So sorry, guys. We yeah, no, on. I'm mo- honestly, yeah. we didn't know how this conversation was going to yeah. go because it's been a really weird couple of weeks, but yeah. I love, I love where it went. Yeah. Um, it's pretty long, so we should probably just wrap, wrap it up. Yeah. And for me, I think we've talked about application. Yep. Like, honestly, if you are praying for an increase in blessing this year, mm-hmm. You know what I pray for people? What? Actually, when I pray with them for blessing, mm-hmm. I ask God to bless them with what he knows they need. Yeah. That's what I ask for people. Ooh, that's I good. just like pour out a blessing. Like I do. I'm like, open your gates and pour out heaven's blessing. Like I love praying wow. for blessing over people. Yeah. But then I'm like, according to according what to you your know, will. right? Like yeah. just, just do what you yep. know needs to be done. Yeah. And and that's what, I, and, and that can be in so many different facets. So many he can do all the yeah. decoding of that. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right? up to him. Yeah. It's, so it's not maybe, mine anyways. maybe if I were to challenge you with one thing, if you're going to pray for yeah, an increase in blessing this year, ask him. Use to, the wording. Yeah. That you said. Oh, now again? Yeah, say that oh, wording. Um, just say, Lord, I pray that you'd pour out a blessing in my life or a blessing for my family um, and add the, according to what you know I need yeah. or you know we need. That's like, that's the key. So, or you could just say, pour out your blessing. And, and mm-hmm. knowing that that's your will. Yeah. That's really good. That's read the so scripture good. one more time and then we'll sign off. Yeah. That's you. I oh, just you talked again with all the blah, blah, <laughs> blah. <laughs> okay. So Jeremiah 17, seven to eight says, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green and there's no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. To me, it sounds just like Jesus. Yes, I agree with you. And David. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. Thank you so much for listening. Remember to drop a comment. Yeah. We want to get like the conversation going, especially on this topic. I feel like it's so big it is. Um, and important. So drop a comment and remember to follow us on Instagram. There must be more podcasts because we'll have conversations and stuff going there. So thanks for listening. Thank you so much. See you next week. Thank you for listening to There Must Be More Podcast, a production of Bethel, Ottawa. You can catch us on YouTube where we would love it if you liked and subscribed. You can also catch us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.